round mags loaded for rifle, two 10 round mags loaded for pistol, five on plate, five on plate. That's called by the cameraman, left or right. Reload, 10 rounds, five head, five body on paper bad guy at about 10 yards. You're done with pistol, stow it, go to carbine. Five rounds on the bad guy at 72 yards. Your choice of head or body, your choice of position. You get three extra points if you go rollover prone and hit them all. You can't miss a single round for bonus. Progress to next stage, 35 yard bad guy, oblique left. All head shots, five rounds. At that point, you're out of a rifle mag, reload. You're on round uh, rifle mag number two. Go to the second barricade, 10 rounds, five head, five body. Show those to you, Bachi, just so people can remember. Uh, again, three point bonus if rollover prone is attempted for half or more. So you could go half on five, go up top side. You can't miss a single round for bonus. Book it to the 200 yard stage, now wearing a barricade, thanks to sadly missing. 10 rounds. Okay, you gotta shoot the steel plate for sledgehammer. I'm talking the round one. If afterwards you want to dink around and reload and go for the luminoid, go for it. It's at 300 on the next bat on the next berm. Awesome. Yeah, it's the new barricade right there. But for sledge, okay. because we ran it the other way, it's got to be the 12. Okay. Questions? All right, Yabach, I'll introduce. It seems like every time we come out, we have bad weather out here. Sure enough, we have another uh, TMP shoot in the sledgehammer. We're going to run various systems. I guess I'll go first. Today, running an SGL 21, wearing some funky furniture. That's the plum colored fore end on the SGL 2172 model. I've swapped out the back stock for a Tapco folding stock. <laughs> It's not show a folding him laughing. Stock. Dude, that Never let it be said we're laughing. tactical elitists. <laughs> what? Never let it be said we're tactical elitists. <laughs> Thank you. Never let it be said Looks we're like tactical elitists. Looks like it's been to the junkyard and back, dude. It's got multicolored. Here, come this way so the wind's not blowing as bad. Um, let me tell you something about the stock. It's not good. Tapco needs to redo this folding stock. It's horrible. Uh, it was wiggling all over the place when I threw it on last night. So there's a field expedient <laughs> fix. Everyone's laughing. I sunk a focus. screw in that sucker to keep her from wiggling. I still had lots of movement. Unacceptable. So I sanded it, broke out the JB Weld, <laughs> Alabama style. As you can see, it is now a fixed stock. Our California representatives would be very happy with that. Why did I do that? Because uh, I wanted a longer length of pull. Uh, I have shot the SGL 21 with the regular AK furniture on it. In rollover prone, to be honest, I have a real hard time getting behind it. Just me, my body size. I couldn't get behind it. The gun was coming on my collarbone. I killed my collarbone on that, man. It's like, I, you know, I'm sitting there, and I might have the same problem with this. I don't know. You learn by doing. Um, but it's a fixed stock now, and it does have a little bit longer length of pull than the regular AK furniture. About a half inch to a three quarter inch longer, which is good for me. That's a Weaver 2x7 scope, KV-01 optics mount, Bulgarian Circle 10 magazines, wearing a 4.7s Quark Turbo light, 123 Turbo actually, to be reviewed, and we're going to test it tonight as well. Glock 17, haven't ran that for a while, I'm probably going to suck at it. Uh, what's this? Uh, True Spec, plate carrier. That's about all I have to say. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Should have seen if JB Weld wanted to sponsor this shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to call this the JB Weld. We're gonna run. weld up a thumb hole and then <laughs> yeah. sell it to somebody in California. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Right, right, right.
Still short. Wicked. Okay, got a guy on the left. Left, left, left. Okay, on the right. Dude, you're making use of those knee pads. Don't mess around. Getting all the mileage you can out of them. Oh, you have jacked up knees doing that. Collarbones are overrated. I like that flashlight. It's nice to stabilize it with. Yeah, your light's on. <laughs> Good thing you can see the target now. Hit. Nice. Very nice. Looked high. Hit. Hit. Whoa. Hit. Hit. Yeah, you're out. I was going to say, how many you got in there? I counted seven hits. That was sweet. It's eight. Is it eight? I think I just missed two. Actually, right. Yeah, you had one high, one low. Failure of a Buckler Creek scope cap. I've seen that before. What's that, sadly? You have any more? Sorry. Any more, any more rounds on you? No, I don't. I was going to have you just take a look at that 300 and see if you could smack it. Yeah, we'll I'll bring some later. next round, though. Good shoot, good run. Thanks. Yeah, that was I real feel good. good about it. Way to calm down when you hit the barricade. I'm surprised some of you hit with that 21, barricade's dude. barricade's good for stability. I don't know that we've ever had that kind of results on that plate. Yeah, seriously. In I this think kind it's of better, wind. it's more stable than the shooting sticks. Oh, by far. Well, I don't know. Those shooting sticks are pretty stable. <laughs> <laughs> They're like wiggling around. They're like tent poles coming apart. But they you slow know you down that and make you shoot worse. You have. That's true. I could take the shooting sticks with me. This, I can't take with me. Guys will like, oh, you'll never have shooting sticks with you. Guys like sadly missing will say that. I will say that. Yeah. I counted eight on your pistol plates too, and Yabachi's only trying to give you seven. I think I just missed two on them. Yeah. Okay. I think it was. I, I collaborate. It was eight. Oh. Not this one, that one. Well, I'm glad you guys are keeping track. And remember, each hit here counts as two. So if you made eight hits here, it's 16 points. Do so you want the number of hits, or do you want points written on here? Do eight times two in that box. Okay. All right, let's go score it. This nice thing is shoot, shooting buddy. so much better since I took that hey, real off. Time. Oh yeah. 260.3. 260.3. Oh, yeah. You didn't put a time a spot on here for your time, so I'm just writing it in the left side of this column. Totally. Okay.
And which one did you do from prone? Body or head? Oh, dude, I like that. You do body or head from prone? Uh, this is from top of the barricade. That's rollover prone. Okay. And so rollover prone, I'm actually aiming right here. Okay. And on the other one, I, I saw I was hitting, so I was actually aiming up here on that first target. So I came down here, and you can see I hit a little bit low. Okay. Will you spot me that round? Sure. Okay. Because I think it's a good group. Yeah, it is. That will give me a 13 at that stage. And that's because they're spotting me this one round. Because normally that should be in the nine ring. I'll do the same for them. If they have a good group and they just sailed one, that this shows 80, good trigger right? control. Heck, they get the point. This is 80, right? That's correct, the okay. 80 yard target. Check this out, we're organized, man. Now, what time does the caterer come remind me? Uh, McDonald's gets here at four. Good, all right, well. All right. My impression of the SGL 21, and let me give you some background as we make our way down here. I did run it in the sledgehammer previously, and I didn't do well at all. Uh, it was with the AK furniture stock, the regular stuff like I told you at the beginning. And I think it's because it has such a short length of pull for me, I, I really couldn't get a stable position and rollover prone. And uh, that was one factor. The second factor, at the time, the gun was wearing the Midwest Industries front rail. And I gotta tell you guys, I don't really like it because it clamps onto the barrel of the AK. I don't like that. I don't like hanging stuff off my barrel. I like to keep it as light, as unencumbered as possible so the harmonics of the barrel do what they're supposed to do. That's why I went back to the factory rail. Yeah, I'm wearing a tactical light, but uh, it's as light as I can get away with, right? And I can, I can tell you, it makes a difference in shooting from what I'm seeing so far. Quick. The groups are a lot tighter. What's that, you botch? So I was gonna say, quick thing on from my experience. Let's talk loud, saying, hear you. Uh, you know, I'm about five nine, so I think you know Warsaw length would work for me. But if you're gonna go irons only, I would say yeah. And you're short, get the Warsaw length. But if you're gonna put any sort of scope on it, you notice that that scope's pretty far back. It's gonna be right in your face if you got the Warsaw length. So I would say if you're gonna put optics on it, definitely, definitely, regardless of height, get the NATO length. I would agree. Cool. I'll take it. I gave it to you. Well, that's in the nine, though. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> we forgot to get stills back there. Crap. <laughs> uh, all right, so there, that's what I'm talking about. This, that's the SGL 21 rollover prone in the sledgehammer by Dutton Fancy. I'm happy with it. Sure, that's not the 31. Those are pretty. That's pretty good, man. The 21 was, or the 31 did great too. I know, that's why I'm I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, hang on, we're gonna get a still. And let me, let the guy know if his expression looks dumb too. I don't look good <laughs> smiling, I look like, look pretty good. do you want to call us up? <laughs> yes. I do, I look gay. Everyone's like, why are you that smile? Was, that was the other thing that they jumped all over us for was when, was when we were out here running and uh, I was standing between the hey. two, I was standing between the two targets. Yeah. And I, and I made that funny face, and you're all, dude, that looks gay. And, and you left it on the video, and people were just going crazy. You know, crazy in a bad way? Well, you had guys coming to the rescue, and you had guys trying to slam us for making gay comments. <laughs> and then you're all, by gay, do you mean happy? Because you look really happy. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. We joke around out here, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. If you don't like it, tune out. Yeah. Tune out, don't watch. There's lots of things to watch. All right, cool. SGL 21 into sledgehammer. Wind gusting to about 20 miles an hour. What do you think, Yabachi? That's uh, uh, pretty nasty conditions as far as the wind goes, but I'm impressed with the score. Gun's doing pretty good, huh? Yeah. Uh, I like it in this configuration, better than that Midwest Industry rails. Uh, the stock, meh. I'd rather have that other Tapco stock on it, really. I'll tell you though, with it, with my JB Weld modification, that sucker's solid. It, it looks awesome. Like it looks really cool. The screw. By it, awesome, cool. does he mean sucky? I think he does. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a junkyard dog. <laughs> Come on, let's catch up with these guys. Yep. You ready for running? I'm not giving you the bonus prone points on this one, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Granted, I took my time on those shots. I wasn't really rushing it. SGL 21 making its presence known again in the sledgehammer. 35 yards. I elected to go prone on this one, dudes. Why not? It's a good change of pace. Pretty happy with that. These are all pictures I can use in the tabletop review. Picture proof. In the Nut and Fancy project, you have to keep really good records because people will roll in and go, that's not what happened. You didn't shoot that. You have video evidence. You know, we kid about it too. Guys will roll in and go, well, what qualifies you guys to do what you do? How about this? <laughs> How about this? What's your job, Nut and Fancy? I work in Dunkin' Donuts. Does it matter? Does it matter? <laughs> but you're civilian. Who cares? What more proof do you need? Yep. That's all that matters. Thanks, boss. I don't know about your pistol skills today. Kind of sucked, huh? You know who's good on pistol? Both these guys are good. Sadly, rocks on pistol. PFI dude is a true competitor. In fact, PFI dude, if you watch his SPR video, got nine out of 10 hits. That ties the court. I had nine out of 10 on one run. That means I have to go 10 out of 10 this time? No one's gotten 10 out of 10 yet. Okay. If anyone can do it. You will buy them again. See if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, there always is an element of friendly competition in the project. It's what makes it fun. It makes it fun. It makes it interesting. Without that, you know, who cares? Yeah. Whoever gets 10 out of 10 gets a new Aztec. Or actually, I used one. A, 2000, a 2003 Aztec. I think you face that time when I had the wardrobe malfunction, too, if I remember right. I, I totally threw the funk on you with that one, didn't I? <laughs> I think it was all your fault. Yeah. My sling contraption and everything was due to that. You were messing with me during this run, but I couldn't even hear what you were saying. Uh -huh. That's why I said I wish I could hear what you were saying, because I had yeah. double muffs. It was kind of <laughs> nice, actually. You'll have fun editing it then. Yeah. When you get back to run it off. That I in. told you you're shooting left, dude. You, you did, but I was already con committed, and it's how uh, these sights are drifted for me. So there's three up top here, as you wish. Five in the head, Glock 17, and I barely squeaked that one in. Yeah, you did. I can't get two mulligans from PFI, dude. <laughs> there you go, 10 from the Glock 17. Good run coming together for the Glock 17 SGL 21 combination. Can you hold that up there? Absolutely. There you go. That combo right there, brother. We'll get a total score for you here in just a second. I'd say you at least got 27. Now, it's if you guys... Score. 27. <laughs> at least. You guys want to throw a new target up, or uh, is that one... It's okay. Let's tape we'll it. We'll shoot that one one more time, maybe. Tape it up. Oh, ready for the score? Okay, SGL 21, ran by Nut and Fancy. With my JB Weld Tapco stock. Survey says, hit it. 60 total points. 60. 200 yards where you made up the difference. 16 points on that 200 yard plate. Okay, so eight out of 10 hits at 200. Yep. 13 points at 80 yards. Okay, so max score on that. Right. Thanks to you, you've spotted me that one. Max, you guys. Max points on the 72. Okay. Eight points. Five points on the 35 that you went prone. Pistol paper all 10 and eight of your pistol plates. Okay, there you have it. Sledgehammer representation, Arsenal, SGL 21. What a great gun that is. And Glock 17. And the Glock 17. And JB Weld. <laughs> <laughs> JB Weld. By the way, if guys are wondering, I did cut this original Serpa holster down. PFI dude and I had a conversation last Sledgehammer. It's, remember, it's stuck way out here, so it's cut down now. Right. It's so much better that way. The JBL, JB Weld, SGL 21. Block 17 combo. Nothing fancy. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.